Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another Audacity tutorial. I'm Josh Meyer of joshmeyervo.com. I'm a professional voice talent. I've done over 3,000 paid voiceovers. I got into that through writing music, and I just so happen to be an expert in Audacity. So today, we have how to record what is happening on your computer, whether that be YouTube, whether that be a website, a podcast, whatever. Your game doesn't matter. We can do it. No big deal. So this will be just only on the computer sound. I will have a separate uh, tutorial on how to do that along with your microphone. And you, you will definitely see other tutorials explaining how to do that. But the issue there is that when you enable the microphone as well, with the window stereo mix, I believe it is, you get a really wonky, echoey sound. And I've got a way around that. So keep your eyes peeled for that. But without further ado, today we have how to record your computer audio. So what I want you to do is over here on the very far left, I want you to click the drop down box and select. Wasapi. Now, once that is selected, we'll have some different options and you may need to hover your mouse about right here until you get that double-sided arrow. Click and drag that to your right so that we can expand this so that there are no words or lettering being cut off. And you can already see it's cut off there. So we'll just drag it over a little bit more. All right, perfect. Now we can read everything. Okay, so this is the deal. If you have your computer audio running through your interface, such as like when you play a YouTube video or something that's happening on your computer and you listen to that through your headphones or speakers that are running through your audience, or I'm sorry, your interface, then you're going to want to select that. And just to be sure, go ahead and click your speaker icon. Now, if you're just having, you know, your regular speakers, your laptop, your computer speakers, um, you could double check where that stuff is running right here by clicking on this volume icon and it will tell you where it's being routed. So for me, it's the audience. But if I had my built-in card selected, uh, such as the Realtek High Definition Audio, then at that level, I would select the Realtek High Definition Audio Loopback selection. But since I have it playing through my interface, we are going to do the Audient Loopback. And that's what we're looking for. We're looking for the Loopback. So once we select the Wasapi, now we have these Loopback options. So, Let's select that. I've got a page up. Let me go ahead and open that. Oh, it's my website. <sighs> By the way, I've been able to help so many people with the private coaching and help them, you know, get closer to realizing their dreams. It's truly incredible. So without further ado, let's do this. So how does it work, right? We've already got those two things selected. It's that simple. Let's click record. As you see, nothing's happening right now. But when I start playing something, keep your eyes peeled. Meet Kate. UT discovers a genetic predisposition to an illness that may require Look Kate to that. have a lung transplant later in life. Just pure water that produces zero emissions. This is OxyCool. This is cooling without consequences. So the innovators in America's natural gas and oil companies have teamed up with the country's brightest all right, you get the idea. And we'll go back to Audacity. And once I stopped playing the computer audio, clearly nothing else came in. That's pretty cool stuff, in my opinion. Pretty cool stuff. Anyhow, that is exactly how you do it. So you can literally record anything you want. Uh, you know, whether that be, you know, like I said, a podcast, a YouTube video your game, whatever's going on, you can do. And that is super, super cool stuff. So 
Let's check this out. Meet Kate. UT discovers a genetic predis. There it is. And there you have it. It's that simple. It's that easy. Now, to record the computer audio with your microphone, it's going to be a little bit more tricky. And especially if you want to get good quality sound uh, doing so. Because if you find other tutorials surrounding how to record your computer audio in accordance with your microphone, you are going to notice a really, really wonky, crazy, echoey sound coming from the microphone. And we don't want that. We don't want that at all. It's chump stuff. Don't want it. So I have found a way to work around that. And I will certainly show you what that is. Until next time, stay safe, stay positive. I've got your back. Okay. If you need help, if you're looking for private coaching, I am doing private paid sessions. Feel free to reach out. If you're looking for custom EQs, feel free to reach out. I'll catch you on the next one. Take care.